I'm Laura Fernandez Gromova. I'm 17 and I started ballet with six. Yeah, my father is from Spain and my mom is half Russian, half Ukraine. But I grew up in Switzerland. Um, my name is Lu Spichtik. I'm 17 and I've been dancing since I was about four. I'm um, from Switzerland, but my mother is French, so I have a double nationality. I can't just stay still and, or stand still and sit still. I was always dancing. My father was also quite annoyed about that. He was always like, Laura, can't you stay or like normally like a normal person without moving? Actually, my mom realized very early on, as soon as I could start walking, um, that I always moved, especially when there was music. And um, after a while, when I started preschool, she wanted me to do something in the afternoon, some kind of sports. She actually didn't really mind that much what it was. So she picked up a phone book and she opened it. And the first one of the first things was ballet. So she just called and, and I just got stuck. <laughs> I really hope that once I can stay on a stage and dance like a solo, not in a group, a solo, because that's actually my dream. If you do a solo, it's another feeling. You're like really, you know, everyone just watches you and you can show yourself and I don't know, it's amazing. Um, what I definitely would like is to work in a company um, I don't have one particular one where I absolutely want to go, but I want to work somewhere where I can work with many different choreographers, where I can stand on stage often and where I'm given opportunities that I don't have to stand in the back and wait for 10 years to finally dance. Like in a variation, you actually can show your passion, your, like, your expression and your feelings. And I really want to show that I like ballet and I really want to do this for my entire life. I'm incredibly honored that um, I can take part in the Prix Lausanne. The first time I saw it, I was very young. You know, I think it was in 2005. And um, funnily enough, the first piece I saw of the Prix Lausanne is the variation that I'll be dancing this year. It's actually just a coincidence. Um, and usually the Prix Lausanne falls in the last week of January or the first week of February. And that's around my mother's birthday. And when I was younger, I told her, mom, one day your present will be me dancing on that stage. And for me, it's this childhood dream that's finally coming true. I think the most important thing is that people see how much I love dancing. They don't have to see how much hard work I've put into it. Um, I hope that when they watch me dance, they can forget that they're sitting in an auditorium, that they can just follow me, and that after two minutes, they're, they just wonder if they really saw me or if I was just a vision. <laughs>